Hello everyone uh, joining us in the future and also here in our uh, video conference. I am the uh, coordinator of the Finnish chapter of the Zeitgeist Movement. Uh, it is um, November, 1st of November in 2017 and uh, we will discuss today how to coordinate a chapter in the Zeitgeist Movement which I have been doing for uh, four years now in Finland and I have now a couple of people who are interested in uh, joining this effort. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Juuso Matt and I am the coordinator of Finnish a local chapter in Finland in the city of Lahti. I founded the chapter six months ago and we're doing quite fine actually right now. Really good to hear. And today we will discuss uh, mostly national coordination, uh, starting a national chapter, but also this can be applied uh, to any coordination you do in the Zeitgeist movement or elsewhere. Uh, and Marco, would you also like to introduce yourself? Sure. Um, I'm the coordinator in the Seinäjoki in Finland. Uh, I founded it like years ago, but uh, it has like uh, 20 participants and um, but things haven't gone very smoothly as uh, well. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, it's a local chapter and uh, yeah, so uh, if I have understood correctly, it hasn't been as active, active as you would have liked. Yes. Yes. Okay, well, we can discuss that today as well. And I hope you will ask a lot of questions um, and really get into the root of what it is to coordinate, um, to make this video as, hope, as helpful as possible for everybody who's watching this and also to understand more thoroughly yourself what the process is uh, both like the, the methods that you use but also the, the way you think uh, about coordination. I hope that becomes clear after today and, and uh, next meeting tomorrow. And I have also asked for, for uh, coordinators in other countries to join us this Sunday to discuss uh, in a more advanced way coordination. Uh, if we get coordinators to join if, if that time suits them then we will have that meeting if not then uh, either we won't have it or we will use that time to discuss these things more thoroughly if, if needed but the purpose um i originally even started uh the idea of having these um meetings where you can practice or learn how to be a coordinator was that in order to be sustainable and in order for, for any group in the Zeitgeist movement to survive and be horis more, as horizontal uh, as possible, meaning that uh, the decisions and, and the burden is not just on one person, but on as many people as possible, uh, then if we want these things, then we need we, we need uh, to have more than one people who is uh, willing and capable of coordinating. And from the first, first day when I started the chapter, I have been looking for people who could take over, uh, in effect, make me obsolete. Because I know that um, I might not be here forever. You know, anything might happen to me and what would happen to the movement then? It's not sustainable if everything is on the shoulders of one person so anybody watching this uh, who is a coordinator needs to start looking for for uh, people that they can train and anybody who is wanting to wanted to be a coordinator needs to think about this from the beginning like you need to be able to give up uh, your position uh, and and train people who can do the things that you 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 do for the movement so the purpose here is to um, use your questions uh, as a trainee, so to say, 
and these common meetings uh, that we have together and go through how I have coordinated the Finnish chapter. And then we will try to reach a level, level where a volunteer can coordinate uh, our group, our core group in Finland for a month independently, including organizing an, uh, a meeting, uh, being in touch with people uh, and, and seeing the processes that are going on in the movement, uh, in, the, in the chapter and in the global movement as well. Uh, being being present in the in the international team speak meetings, and also uh, also uh, maintaining our social platforms and Trello. So these sort of sorts of um, skills that you will learn uh, or fine tune with this with these meetings uh, will be very useful both within TZM and outside of it. Uh, this, is, this has been a learning process for me personally. I started from pretty much nothing uh, with no experience and I have grown as a person uh, enormously uh, in, during these four years. But I think that um, you can reach the level uh, that took me four years to reach uh, much quicker because you will have now now uh, the opportunity to really ask questions and 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 learn from from previous mistakes. So the sorry for the long monologue to the beginning, but I want to uh, just introduce this these meetings first uh, and what we're going to cover uh, during today this first meeting. Uh, as I have now done, uh, is the introduction to the project. And also, we will cover some uh, common information about coordination. Uh, and we will go through this kind of introductory text to coordinating, coordinating a chapter, which is, which is uh, basically text that has been adapted from the chapter's guide for a TZM. And then after that, we will go through uh, the the ways in which you can be up to date on everything that is going on in a chapter and how to uh, how to how, what is the practice of um, of keeping a chapter going and then we will have a Q and A but you can have a questions at any point and, and this is supposed to be a conversation uh, more than a lecture so let's keep it that way. In the second meeting, we will uh, we will go through how to organize meetings, going through uh, my my notes on that, and then uh, go through the social media and, and all kinds of web uh, platforms that we use, and then talk about communication and and, and uh, international meetings, and then then we have some additional things as well. But we can start now with the. Um, uh, with the general information about coordination. So I think if you have something you want to ask at this point, you can, you can do that. Do you have anything in mind? Say no if you don't. Well, I don't have any questions about your speech, but well, do you want to go through the document you have written or should we start to ask questions and start from there? Uh, well, I think you could ask a few questions first and then we can go into more detail. If you have any questions, like think about it this way. If you had to start a chapter today um, and keep it at the level where the Finnish chapter is at the moment, uh, what would be the problems that you would confront? Well, at first, the Finnish chapter is right now so greatly organized that it is a uh, big choice to fit in. But I think I want to start with a question about basic stuff about basically how to organize in the way that it makes 
easy to new people to get involved like using Trello or something like that so you, it's much easier for new people to find information and about what you said earlier the learning curve like shorter for new people so that, that everyone does not have to make the same mistakes that has been the one of the things that i've also focused on from the beginning um getting new people involved uh not only new coordinators but also making it easier for for people to get involved in the movement and we have been trying to do that ever since it is not so easy people have very limited time uh, in the current system free time that they can use to participate so what we have tried is we made the a trello uh, board that i can actually show you in just a second I will share my screen so you can see what it is like. So this is what it looks like, the Finnish uh, portal to our uh, crowdsourced activism environment. Yeah, it says it here in Finnish. And we have moving tasks and stationary tasks and then easy 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 uh introduction into how to use this so this is the link that we share uh when we add, ask new people to join this so we have just very easy introduction on how to use this and then we have more information uh for how to use trello and that's pretty much it and then we have the tasks organized uh, in another board or two other boards and um, here we have tasks so anybody can can take these tasks and and help us move them forward and i want to show you these stationary tasks uh, here we have uh, tasks for beginners tasks for people who have already some experience and some knowledge and then the experts and those with uh, really good knowledge about TCM uh, and we have these different categories with by difficulty that uh, new people can can see so they don't get the feeling that they don't know what to do because there is everybody listed everything listed here and you can suggest more things and then we have common projects in the left so we tried this it didn't work as well as we hoped uh, it did I haven't heard anybody ask the question but what can I do in the movement after we made this in the Finnish chapter. So um, I think it helped kind of that general confusion, but it didn't create any new time, any more time for people. So um, we have had some participation in this, but not too much, unfortunately. So that has been one thing that we have tried. We have also made updated completely our facebook page and our website and made made ourselves our image to look more approachable so that that's something we have tried we've organized z days and other events uh, that people could can join and advertise those um so we've tried different things and the events seem to be uh, especially uh, national meet meetings seem to be uh, effective in getting people involved uh, like once a year they will come there and and we've got, had many core core members uh, come to our our chapter that that way as well uh, but we will get into that more uh, later on as we go through the documents uh, and, and why why it is so hard to get uh, people involved but I think if you lead by example and you create content that resonates with people then uh, they will they will uh, if they if you can spark that interest and that drive in them to make a change in the world then they they will join uh, eventually when they find the time but it's still work in progress definitely
did that answer your question? Yes, thank you. And I want to ask you to even more highlight uh, if you can share a few words about the importance of the open information about what the chapter is to doing so that new people can easily see what's happening. Definitely. So um, we have a core group which is uh, closed, so it's not open to everybody. We have some standards uh, that people have to pass in order to get into the core group. Uh, in order to keep the core group, core group functional, because that is really important, people don't have time to to dispute and and uh, and waste time basically. So we have to have this functionality that we can and we and we will get get to the uh, the one one of the choices a coordinator coordinator has to do is when they take new people in, they have to evaluate if people are more of a burden or if they will be uh, of use unfortunately that's something i when i began when i read the chapters guide for the first time i really thought about that like but we are supposed to take everybody in and everybody is a part of this transition but it is a fact that as i have come to understand that some people are more of a burden than they are uh, useful for the movement and you have to kind of screen that and, and do some vetting to um, make people understand how to how to participate in a in a manner that helps but even though we have a close core group um, we have advertised it and we try to regularly uh, bring it to forward so people people know that it exists and can join it and we ask new people who are interested to join it so um, that's something that we do and we're not pretending like uh, like there is something more than there is so we are honest about who works and, and how much we can do and uh, how many people we have organizing things um, and we try to be encouraging to new people i don't know how was it when you joined uh the finnish chapter how, how did you experience that well i joined the core group or the organization organizing group in oh, oh, about 14 months ago, year and a half. Mm 